Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul. Hope you're having an amazing day. Since NVIDIA's announcement and subsequent launch of the RTX 4090, I think gamers have been very impressed with what NVIDIA are doing with uh, their graphics architecture, with the 4090 being monstrous not just in terms of physical size but also performance, leading to the obvious question, how will AMD compete? Will they release a graphics architecture which is cheaper but still fairly performant, for example falling in the RTX 4080 16 gigabyte to maybe the 4080 Ti range, or instead, will they go full guns blazing and try to outperform the NVIDIA flagship cards such as the RTX 1490 and the inevitable 1490 Ti? Well, we're starting now to get a much better understanding of what AMD's plans are, and we're going to go right into it after this message from the video's sponsor. If you're running a copy of Windows 10, which isn't activated, of course, not only do you have to worry about the missing customization options, but there's also that annoying Windows desktop watermark reminding you to activate. Today's video is sponsored by whokeys.com, and they have an excellent price on Windows 10 Professional, as well as home keys. Yeah, and they also, of course, sell games. I've bought a few Windows 10 keys with my own personal account to test everything was legit and worked in preparation for this sponsored video. You can pick up one of their keys for 25% off using the coupon code RGT in the checkout. There's links to their website in the video description. Also, if you're building a few systems, there's bundles available too. Again, you can check out whokeys.com and use the coupon code RGT for 25% off the listed Windows 10 key prices. So a couple of days ago, I did release a video going into a lot of detail actually of RDNA 3, not only from my own sources, but the internet at large concerning performance targets, the specifications, and doing some analysis of what AMD's most likely targets would be in terms of their marketing. Um, with N33, it seems that they're really going to be targeting the mobile market. And honestly, N33 is allegedly very, very power efficient. And N31, well, I basically came to the conclusion that looking at least two times the raster performance, possibly more. And as for ray tracing, I've been hearing RDNA 3 is much, much more performance. Um, compared to the RDNA 2 architecture. So I basically speculated two and a half to three times that minimum, um, which, well, of course, the inevitable question is, will AMD manage to achieve those targets? And is Paul right? Well, there have been a couple of very interesting leaks that have started to pop up. Um, and one of them is actually from Grayman. So Grayman55 on Twitter said that they've they, uh, some AIBs, have already gotten chips and are starting to test them. Apparently, reference TBP will, uh, is amazing. We'll talk more about the power consumption in a moment because I think that's kind of going on a slightly different topic. But in terms of performance, and I think that's what most folks are interested in, raster is apparently two times that of N21, actually a little more, most likely. And as for ray tracing performance, yeah, they've confirmed it's over two times that of N21 as well. Now, I have to tell you guys that I've been hearing that early drivers are not quite doing it in terms of performance. Um, I think that there is a lot of room left. The only thing that I've heard differently from Grayman actually is AIBs. Um, I've actually heard that AIBs didn't yet start testing properly. Um, and I think I even posted that on Twitter, but then my information could be a few days older than that. So perhaps they have got updated information or perhaps one of the AIBs just didn't want to tell me the truth. Who knows? Either way, Raymond generally does have fairly decent information, so I don't doubt them. And honestly, I think these performance targets are pretty accurate. I think we're looking at a card which is going to outperform the RTX 1490, which is basically what Grayman is saying here. Uh, in terms of raster performance, in fact, interestingly, a couple of my sources today are basically saying almost the exact same thing. I'm not going to bother to quote them because I'm saying to you guys the exact same thing as I've mentioned a few times in the past. But basically, the RTX 1490 is probably going to be surpassed by RDNA 3's uh, 7950 XT or whatever it ends up being called. But in terms of ray tracing performance, NVIDIA are probably going to have the edge. Um, a lot of this, of course, is also going to depend on software. Like, I'm sure some game engines are just going to favor one specific architecture over another. And it's going to be very interesting to see how drivers and optimization starts to really occur. I think 
perhaps while the desktop market is going to be kind of vicious, the really interesting market is going to be in mobile and how Intel in particular decides to work with either NVIDIA or um, AMD for its graphics. Let's face it, ARC is, well, ARC is ARC, but most likely it cannot compete with N32, which are the higher end offerings from uh, AMD in terms of mobile and the inevitable RTX 4070M or whatever gets launched. As for power consumption, that's where things start to get interesting. We saw the Enemax leak just recently at 420 watts, but I have to tell you guys, I'm still not confident that that's correct. Grayman is very certain that it doesn't seem to be right. And as I mentioned in my video there uh, a couple of days ago, it just seems too high to me for N31. Perhaps it's for a custom design or perhaps it's for the power limit like if you crank it up but even then i don't think so i've heard from multiple people that n31 in particular is ridiculously power efficient i'm not gonna i honestly don't know what the final figure is i personally wouldn't be surprised if it's 350 watts um i could be wrong that is a guesstimate. I've heard everything from 350 watts all the way up to just under 400 for the reference design. I'm personally... Re uh, we're just going to have to see. The clock frequency, though, is the really crazy thing. I've heard well over 3 gigahertz for N31. But obviously the questions also become, are we even talking about the flagship? For example, let's just assume it's 350 watts is that for the 7900 is it for the 7950 xt no one knows 100 percent at the moment but i am super interested to see how nvidia are going to uh, face off against these gpus because my goodness it is going to be very impressive and also while i'm on the subject of nvidia just a quickie for you all so there has been a lot of discussion of nvidia's titan cards and of course, we're talking about Lovelace Titan here. I actually put out a video uh, a couple of months back. I can't remember exactly when. Uh, and I'd actually been speaking to a source and they swore to me that Titan was coming for Lovelace. Um, and it was outfitted with obviously basically the, the full core, um, full core implementation. Uh, so it had basically a few more SMs or a little more, you know, compute grunt, if you will, over the 1490 tie or TI, whatever you want to call it. But basically, it had double the amount of RAM. So it had 48 gigabytes. Um, and I have to tell you guys that I have been hearing that that's not true. But Kopati7 Kimmy has also stated that it's not true on um, Twitter. I actually mentioned this a couple of times on Twitter myself. I tweet quite a lot, actually. Perhaps I should reduce that a little. <laughs> but um, yeah, I basically had been hearing that it just wasn't a thing. Titan just wasn't planned. Um, and this is from some internal policies within NVIDIA, from what I from what I understand. I don't want to repeat too much stuff just in case it makes it too easy for, you know, who told me what to get tracked down. But long story short, I don't know if NVIDIA ever planned a Titan card. And really interestingly, um, Kopitai also mentions that the 4090 Ti is still in play. Now, I've heard the same thing that the RTX 4090 Ti will still be coming. Um, of course, things like power consumption is a very interesting question. Uh, basically, the 4090 Ti, to my understanding, has an option to go up to 560 watts with its BIOS, but NVIDIA are most likely going to go with perhaps a little less than that, 475. That's according to a couple of people I've spoken to now. Uh, obviously, what the final BIOS and you know configuration that gets loaded ends up being is going to be like, well, what are AMD doing? Um, I think a lot of questions at this point are going to really kind of, for NVIDIA, just really depend on what AMD are doing. I know it's a very obvious statement, but I've spoken to several people within NVIDIA and they are not still certain of what the performance targets are of N31. They have theories, but they're not 100%. And, um, you know, we obviously saw the RTX 4080 12 gigabyte basically get unlaunched, quote unquote. Um, I'm going to say something blindingly bloody obvious. Basically speaking, I think NVIDIA's plans at the moment are just going to change a lot. 
Um, obviously with the RTX 4080 12 gigabyte being on launch, which I think is a great decision. I don't think Nvidia should have called it that initially, but I'm not gonna go into that. Everyone and, and their mother has spoken about that a hundred times over. Obviously, eventually those are gonna become the 4070 series and perhaps a small change in specification here or there. I'm very interested to see what the mid-range pricing is for these cards. It's going to be very intriguing as well because N32 allegedly is not going to launch until the second quarter. N31 basically launches first, which is going to be this year. Uh, it's most likely going to be the 20th of November. That's according to um, Grayman. I personally heard some point in November, and it's not very difficult to figure that out anyway. I don't need you guys, I don't need to tell you guys that. You're smart enough to realize that generally speaking, a graphics card launch is generally a couple of weeks after the announcement. The announcement AMD have already confirmed is the third. So you know it's not going to be like, you know, five months later that N31 launches. I mean, this is not ARC, let's just be honest. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see how all of that ends up. Uh, another thing I just want to mention really quick are some performance targets from uh, it, performance targets. Wow, my brain is not doing brain things, is it? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, but basically the 13900K has actually been compared against the 7950X. Now, basically speaking, these slides have popped up on uh, videocards.com. Um, that's how I initially found them anyway. Um, but you can see yourself the performance numbers. I'm not going to read them out, guys, because honestly, there are a lot of questions I have with these slides. The most obvious one is like, what the hell is the configuration? Um, I don't know. It's probably, it's possibly made of pixie dust and, and like, I don't know, like hope. I don't know. Um, I can tell you that I've personally heard from people that it is faster the 13900k i do have a review sample but i haven't started my testing yet because i got my sample really late um not for fault of um the person sending it to me i, I not from the fault of someone sending it to me it's just like shipping issues and stuff like that so i will be doing some 13900k stuff and i'll be doing a lot of very interesting comparisons actually but uh i don't want to say too much more on that with that said thank you very much for checking out the video um audio only for today because i'm working on a couple of interesting videos uh i had a number of people asking me about the ps5 pro and the next generation xbox so that's a video i'm working on and some other bits and pieces as well but with that said Love to you all. Thanks very much for watching the video. Thanks to everyone who has been a recent subscriber. It's actually freaking me out just a little smidgen. I'm almost at 99,000 subscribers. I know like it's nowhere near as many as say Linus or whomever, but um, I don't know. It, it just freaks me out just a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Well, thanks very much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye for now.